Have you ever dropped out your ISO in CADWorks and went, mm, that just does not look good? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to use the start signs and the stop signs to help you make your ISOs look a lot better. So the start signs and the stop signs have been in CADWorks for many years and what it is is a communication between CADWorks and Isogen on where you want to start and where you want to break up your models. So the start sign, basically what you do is you click right over here to the uh, under Isogen, the start sign point. Now as you can see our model is a little bit busy. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate one line and we're going to isolate this one right here. Uh, for, we got a 1480 and there we go. So our line comes from a pump, goes over through a control station and up to uh, an exchanger. So not an exchanger, a tower. So what we're going to do is so we can see the start signs and the stop signs better, what we're going to do is we're going to sit uh, to 2D wireframe and we're going to come down here and this is where our connection to our pump is. Now what we have found at times is Isogen has a tendency to ignore the start signs and you start trying to put it in weird places. The most important thing is the start sign doesn't have to be exactly right at the start of the ISO. It can actually just be wherever the first sheet is. So if you place your start sign at the pump and it doesn't come out in the right order, you can always try over here at the T where it goes out to the other pump. But for this demonstration, we're going to do this at the pump. So let's go ahead and pick the end of our uh, gasket there we go and you got to make sure that this um, start sign is associated with the ISO and so or with the line number so we double click on that and if we bring over our uh, component edit you can see that our line number is associated with it so if we run this ISO and it's a pretty long run with the control station in between so one thing that we do is that we place our stop signs at uh, logical breakpoints, um, at flanges, uh, at valves, at field welds, fill fit welds, and that way it does not break up the um, you know piece marks and make this oddball shape. So take that. So if we go ahead and run this ISO. IGB. Okay, we're going to select that and hit OK. Okay, you can see that it's made two isogen style, uh, two isogen drawings right here. Do you want to open it? I typically say no, and I open it up in AutoCAD, just plain Jane AutoCAD. The reason that I do just plain Jane AutoCAD is when you open it up in CADWorks, it has a tendency to try to load up the spec that was used for that um, model. And depending on how big your spec file is or how slow your connection is to the server or any other thing, um, it will kind of take a while to load up at times. So I just open it up in AutoCAD, just my personal preference. So you can see that it's created two ISOs and sheet one is um, from the pump to the control station and sheet two is from the control station all the way up to the top of the tower. Now one caveat is um, when you break your line or break your model up at a control station, 
Uh, sometimes the flanges, I mean the gaskets and the bolts, do not associate with the valve uh, like we typically do. It's just one of those weird glitches that when you break it at the control station, it's hard for Isogen to know exactly where you want to break it. So you might not get your bolts and gaskets with your, your valve like you normally would do. So now you notice that one other thing that I said this is sheet two and we have sheet A here. Uh, in a later video, I'm going to go over how do you change that to where it's actually a sheet instead of um, or a number instead of a numerical because sheet one doesn't have anything sheet two has a so stay tuned for that next video uh, the uh, last thing I would want to say is be careful with your start stop signs because uh, the rule of thumb is you put one stop sign it's going to generate two ISOs if you do three stop signs or two stop signs, it's going to generate three ISOs. So one stop sign is going to generate another ISO. So try to use them in logical spaces and that way your ISOs will come out better. I hope that helps you understand stop signs and start signs and CAD works and how it relates to Isogen. Um, Please, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. If you have uh, anything you want us to talk about or cover, uh, please hit me up. Um, you know, I usually answer those, you know, within a couple days. Uh, probably a little faster now since we're kind of, you know, sheltered at home. Uh, so please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.